here to do another Facebook Live Chalky Mountain Workout. One viewer! Yes! We have one viewer! Did you see that pause look? Now we have two viewers! Oh, I love it! Please say something to us. Let us know you're here. Oh, we want to hear what you're doing. Listen, I want to give a shout out to all our coaches. You know how our coaches love being here and working with you guys. Well, they're at home right now. They can't be here. Nobody could be here, but we love our coaches so much. Um, make sure that uh, when you're doing our Facebook uh, challenges, okay, our chocolate challenges on Facebook, and you put your your you're putting your pictures up there. Say something about your coach. Let them know so that they can respond back to you and let you know how you're doing in your challenge videos, okay? We are loving all the challenges that we are seeing, all the uh, participants we're seeing in the challenges. It is so much fun looking at the, the videos of everybody doing everything we had. First one was forward roll, um, which was awesome. And then we had, what else did we have? We had um, salute Sunday, right? I did not post one for my salute Sunday. And then we had handstand Saturday. And what's today? Today is cartwheel, uh, what was it, Manic Monday? Manic Monday working on our cartwheels. Whoa! Awesome, all right. So listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of a workout today. And what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to follow along with me, okay? It's kinda be like working out at home, like you would be here at the gym today, okay? We're gonna go through a lot of things that you have already do at, at the gym here and some things that we're gonna work on, all right? We're gonna do flexibility, we're gonna get stronger, and we're gonna do some basic skills that you guys can do at home, all right? First thing we're gonna do is our warm up. We are going to dance, y'all, woo! All right, and you know what? I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a basic two-step because Coach Kyle loves country music all right, and so I'm gonna start off teaching you a two-step, all right? We're gonna get a little music going on here. All right, so here's how you do a two-step, okay? All right, you're gonna step to the left, one, and then two, and then two steps to the left, and then one to the right. Two steps to the left, one, two, one to the right. One, two, and then you can go backwards. Same way. Right? All right, going a little faster, going back forward. One, two. All right, now we're gonna go backwards. Two steps again, and step out. Step back, shuffle, that's good. All right, one more time, coming back forward. You guys got it now? Ready? And one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. All right. So you guys got that figured out? Oh no, the music changed. What do we got coming up now? I don't know, there's no music. Sorry. What happened to our music? Uh oh. Can you guys hear the music all right up there? Uh oh, this is an 80s tune y'all. You guys ready? All right, start bouncing around. All right, now you gotta go like this. Step to the side and drag. Side and drag. This is an 80s way we dance. Woo! Can you do it? Come on, I'm watching you. Put a little wave going in there. Yeah, and then put your foot out in the front. When your mom and dad were kids, this is how they danced at the high school dances. Yeah, we can dance if you want to. All right, you dancing? Woo, gotta do a little spin. This is a Michael Jackson spin. Cross your legs, spin. Woo! <laughs> uh oh. What do we got coming up? Oh. A little ballet dancing here. We got plie. Woo! Spin. Oh, that was so lovely, Coach Rob. I love it. Oh, I'm going to leap right into your, to your homes. All right. Are you guys getting warmed up? Whew. Whew. I need to get you a tiara. I need a tiara. <laughs> oh, yes. Tell you what, 
Who knew dancing could get your heart racing so much? I tell you what, while we are on coronavirus, we are prob Coach Kyle's probably going to get in really good shape. Yeah! All right. So listen, you guys, whew, I'm going to kick my shoes off here. Now we're going to get into workout. All right. We are going to start off with our workout today. Are you ready? First, we're going to do a little bit of flexibility. All right, just like what we do in the gym every day. Feet together. You ready? Arm circles forward. Whew. And faster. Do a jump. And freeze. And go backwards. And faster. Do a jump. Whew. What's next? You got it. Side to side like a windshield wiper. Hey, old Tommy. You got to go side to side like a windshield wiper. All right? Whew. You guys going side to side? I hope you're working out with me. We still only have three viewers with us. There are 10 of you watching. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing this, all right? So what comes next? You ready? Straddle split, slide it out. Woo! I also did not submit a real picture of me doing a split currently. I put one on Flexibility uh, Friday of uh, my old days when I was a gymnast. Jump to your knees, boom, all right. Put your right leg forward. That's the one closest to the wall over here. You'll notice that I have my left leg forward if you're paying attention. That's because you guys are supposed to be mirroring me. Mirroring me. My words aren't working. All right, leg straight. All right, arms out, chest up, present beautiful. Make sure that front leg is straight, toes are pointed, and slide out into your split. All right, let's count to 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, come on out. Shake that leg out. All right. So if that was the right leg, the other leg is the left. All right. Are you ready? Put that leg up. Rock it back and forth. You guys ready? Leg straight. Slide. Oh, pulling. Oh, yes. Yes. Slide it out. All right. Let's count to ten. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, come on out. Woo. Woo. All right, jump out and sit straddle. All right, very good. Everybody knows this stretch, right? This is our pancake stretch. We're gonna try to reach out as far as we can, all right, and try to get our belly flat on the floor. Uh, I tell you what, this is not good for me right now, but hopefully I'll get a little bit more flexible as we work out here. All right, so reach out. Oh, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, bring your legs together. What's it called? Yeah, it's a pike, silly. Of course I know what it is. All right, how do you spell pike? Nope, nope, that's not how you spell it. Nope, 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 yes, that's it. P-I-K-E, arms up, try to keep your back flat, head neutral, reach out, try to grab behind your heels, go as far as you can go. Reach, all right, whew, oh. Whew. What's next? Shoulder stretch, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see a better view. Plus, Coach Kyle, Ugh. can't get my shoulders back there. Try to get your hands as close as you can. You're supposed to be touching your hands there, all right? And then slide out as far as you can go which this is it for me. I need some help. All right, that's it. All right, I hope you guys are doing better than me. This is not very good, all right? Uh, it's like I'm watching TV, eating a chip. All right, slide out on your backs. I'm not gonna do this one. I'll try it, okay. I saw the looks. I'll try it. What's it called? Yeah, that's right, a bridge. Are you ready? Whew. Somebody get 911 on speed dial. Push up. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oof. You guys stay up a little bit longer than me. I tell you. All right, rock and roll. Hug those knees. All right. You guys want to know a cool thing to do to get up off the off the ground? It's called a kip up. I don't know if I'm gonna do it well, but watch. You rock back like you can do a rock and roll, and then you press up to your feet like that. Woo! All right. So, oh, hey, listen. Hello? Nope, nobody's calling me. Very good. All right, so we are gonna do, we're all warmed up. We're gonna start off with getting ourselves strong, okay? 
Like I have told you before, there are three main things that we do in all of gymnastics to get to get stay in shape. Okay, strength, flexibility. Okay, and then you've got to be you've got to have a good mindset. You've got to be willing to do what it takes to get yourself stronger and more flexible because those things are not fun. All right. So here's what we're gonna do today. We have arms. We have abs, or in my case, a belly. And then we have legs, all right? And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an exercise for each of those areas to help keep that whole body in shape, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 push-ups. You guys all know how to do push-ups. We do them every day. Are you guys ready? Everybody down on your bellies, count it out with me. Are you ready? You bite, 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 back and belly, everything should be straight, body flat. You see how I got my toes pointed? That's how gymnasts do push-ups, and they do it in their hollow position, keeping their back flat. Now, there's easier, if it's too hard, if you go on your knees, just try to make sure you keep your back, back flat, not like this. All right, you wanna do right push-ups, okay? Are you guys ready? Get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Oh, woo! I tell you what. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next arm exercise we're gonna do, and we're gonna do our arm exercises right in a row. All right. It's gonna be called a reverse dip. You're gonna need to go to the edge of your couch, okay? The edge of your couch, or um, to a chair, okay? If you want, or if you've got something like this, a hassock. Okay, that's the thing you put your feet up on while you're watching TV. All right. Some people call it an ottoman, all right? I'm just saying. All right, so you're gonna go out. You're gonna put your feet out in front, okay? Hands on, and you're basically just gonna bend down. You can bend your knees too. It'll be a little bit easier if your knees are bent. I'm just in the habit of keeping my toes pointed and legs straight, because I'm a gymnast, former, not current, okay? And you just go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. Woo, yeah. Woo. I'll give you guys a few seconds because you may not have had that ready to go. Okay, while we move on to our next thing, I'm going to put this away. You guys keep finishing up your ten reverse dips. That's what those are called. All right. Clean this up. Um, just so you know, I clean up my mess at the gym. You guys should clean up your mess at the house. Okay. That's a very important rule. Always clean up your bedrooms. Make your beds. How many of you do that? No. All right, so now we're gonna move on to abs. Samantha likes your push-ups. Samantha, which Samantha? Scram. Oh, Sammy Scram, how you doing there, gorgeous? All right, listen, you like my push-ups? Thank you. Uh, I work very hard on them. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have no idea how winded I am right now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our abs, okay? The two ab movements we're gonna do are called lemon squeezers okay and leg lifts all right and here's how we do a lemon squeezer okay you're gonna start in a tuck position just like this holding your knees okay and to squeeze the lemon you're gonna go out and squeeze in okay we're gonna do that 10 times so you guys ready you want to see it one more time you go out and squeeze in are you ready okay ready one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, there is an easier way to do that. You can put your hands back and you can just go out and use your hands to balance you a little bit. If you're having a harder time with that, just like that, okay? Next thing we got is ten leg lifts. Just like what it sounds like, we're gonna lift our legs up, okay? So we're gonna lay our back. Woo! As gymnasts, we like to make sure we keep our chin on our chest, okay? Keep our back round. Now, if you can't do that, if you can put your hands below your bottom there to help keep your back okay, all right? You're gonna see Coach Kyle do his in what we call Maltese style. My legs are gonna be like this. This is harder, okay? But it's also, I'm more conditioned to be able to do that. We're just gonna lift our legs all the way up, just like that 10 times. Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! Oh, I tell you what, Whew. that got me going pretty good there. All right, very good. All right, we got two more exercises to do. All right, we're gonna work on our legs now. Okay, leg exercise is gonna be side to side jumps, okay? You wanna pretend like you're jumping over something. You guys can see the gray line here, all right? That is our gray line. You guys pretend like you have a line. If you have a carpet or you have something, you're gonna jump over side to side. You're gonna pretend like you're jumping over a wall, okay? Big jump over the wall. So you're gonna go just like that. And you see how I tuck my knees up and jump sideways at the same time? I have to take these deep breaths because I haven't worked out in a while. And, I, and then I pause a little bit and talk to you a little bit so I can get myself set up for this, right? See my thinking over here? Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go, 10, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. And that is one method to do side to side. You can do zigzag jumps, which is a smaller, shorter one, just like this. But we'll do that another time, okay? So that was we like big ski jumps is what we call them when we're doing, uh, when, we, when we name them while we're doing it in the gym. The next thing we're gonna do, the next leg exercise we're gonna do is supersets, okay? Woo, a superset, a set in gymnastics is when you just jump and swing your arms up to do a superset, okay? We're gonna go all the way down to the ground Bend all the way, and then do the same thing all the way up. That is our superset. All right. Whew. Let me walk off for a second. Get my breath as we go here. All right. All right. You guys ready? Shake it out a little bit. Shake out your body. All right. You guys should be doing this really easy since you guys do gymnastics every week. I don't. I just lift kids and throw them around. You know. All right. You guys ready? Ten supersets. Remember, all the way down, and make sure we swing those arms all the way up and push through our toes, okay? Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, you guys, excellent work, okay? Go grab a drink. Get something to sip on real fast. We're gonna come right back and we are going to do our basic skills of the week, okay? You ready? Nope, just keep watching me walk around. How many viewers we got? Eight. Eight viewers, two people left us? Oh man. Eleven. Must've been, must been boring them. Eleven? Oh, all right. Got them back up there, I like it. Whew. All right, so listen. Our basic skills we're gonna work on today. We're gonna do a little bit of floor X. That's Floor exercise, we're gonna do a little balance beam and a little bit of bar work. And the bar work is gonna be something you guys can work on at home. It'll be another strengthening exercise, all right? Let yourself come down a little bit. We gotta relax as we get into this next segment, all right? Hope you guys are doing this at home and having a good time with it. Um, we're really happy to be able to share this time with you. And we really miss you guys, man. Rather have you in the gym doing this and have to do it at home. But, uh, you know, this is what we gotta do, all right? So, today we're gonna work on handstands and cartwheels. It is Manic Monday anyways, so we might as well do some cartwheels, all right? Now, the other day we did our handstands and I showed you several different ways. One of the ways I forgot to mention was that you guys can kick up to a wall. In one of our Facebook posts, one of our gymnasts, showed us how to do it and that was pretty cool too, all right? So remember, come on over here. Remember, ask permission, find your wall. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to hold our handstand for 10 seconds, okay? Are you ready? Arms up, step and kick into the wall. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step down. Finish, oh yeah, woo! All right, let's come out on the floor. We're gonna see how long we can hold our handstand on the floor without falling down, all right? You guys ready to give this a try? 
Get myself centered here. All right. Are you ready? Arms up. Oh, right. I'm a gymnast. I always gotta start with my arms up. Look how my legs start tight. I'm ready to go. Okay. Arms up, nice and tall. I'm gonna step and lunge into it. Step, kick. Legs together. One, two. Oh man. I only got two seconds. How many seconds did you get? You got five? Oh, I don't believe you. I don't think you got five. Sammy, are you doing this with us? I hope so. Are you ready? One more time. Let's see if I can get five seconds. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Oh, I was so close. So close. All right. Uh, should I give it one more try? One more try. You think I can do it? I think you can do it. Okay. Squeeze tight, use those hands and try to hold yourself upside down. Okay, one more time. Are you ready? Arms up, big step, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah! Woo! Can I get a woo? Yeah! I did it! Yeah! All right. That is awesome. I can't believe it. A little practice, all right? I got it going on. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is our cartwheel. I've seen lots of our cartwheels today and they look pretty good. I'm telling you that, that what I'm seeing post on Facebook, I'm loving it, okay? Now, when I do anything simple, okay? Cartwheel goes like this. One foot in front, you guys can go low, like that, that's a cartwheel, all right? We can go high, okay? And you can finish your cartwheel several different ways. As a gymnast, we always start forward and finish facing back the way we can. Now, you see how I'm using our gray line on the floor? If you guys try to find a line at home, right? And when you start, arms up, step, kick, and finish, okay? See how I'm facing back the way I started? I'm not sideways, okay? I'm not even off a little bit. I'm facing back where I started. And that's very important when you're practicing your cartwheel, okay? A lot of time I see gymnasts do this. They'll go like this, and this is fine, okay? And that's a cartwheel, that counts, okay? But we're looking for a cartwheel, okay? That's gonna lead to higher level skills. So we wanna be like this, arms up, big step. Now watch my hands, one hand, second hand, boom. And the hands are a more advanced way once you get a little bit better at your cartwheels, all right? So you guys got it? One more time, all right? I'm gonna go left foot cartwheel, I'm gonna come back with the right foot cartwheel. Check this out. Left foot and right foot. And left foot, and right foot. Woo! I'm a little dizzy. I'll tell you what. All right, that's four exercises for today. Next, we're gonna do balance beam. But Coach Kyle, you're a boy. You don't do balance beam. Oh, I know balance beam girls. Don't you worry. I know how to do some balance beam. All right, what we're gonna do today is work on some simple things you guys can do at home to continue to work on your balance, all right? Cool, go grab a drink real fast, come on back, all right? I'm gonna get something uh, going here, all right? And then we'll get started. I didn't realize when I set up this workout today um, how much time I was gonna need to refresh myself, all right? We're gonna get through this balance beam and one more thing on bars and then we'll be all done for today. So stick with me guys, okay? How many we got? Nine. Whew, you nine have some shout outs one. though. All right, so listen. Balance beam, all right? We are going to do, various, this is a, something we can work on balance, okay? And um, something also that will strengthen your legs, which is very good, we need, always need to have a strong body, okay? And it also kind of is similar to dance, okay? So, feet together, arms press back, right? Press, we're gonna put one foot out in front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a simple leg lift, five on each leg. We're gonna do the front, side, and back, okay? Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Very good, you see that? And back and finish. Relax, shake it up. All right, another thing we're gonna do, the other side, okay, again, press, feet out. See how my toe is slightly turned down? You want that? Because you wanna be using the inner thighs to lift your legs, okay? Press out, chin up, shoulders, good posture always, okay? Come on, I wanna see good posture. Don't be like this, no slouching. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Very good, and back, relax. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, going out to the side, okay? 
So I'm gonna take that foot, my leg is turned out again, knee facing the ceiling, okay, arms pressed, and I'm just gonna lift my leg up to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it in, other side, and one, two, three, four, five, and bring it in, good. Now, relax a little bit. Holding your arms up like that can be tired. It actually is very tiring. Deep breaths like this help bring down your heart rate and relax your body, okay? When your muscles are getting strained, relaxing those, relaxing inside helps everything kind of ease out, okay? And it allows you to keep going, okay? And it's also very peaceful, okay? So exercise, good breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth while you're working out, and always take deep breaths and long exhales to, re to relax yourself, okay? So arms out, leg behind you. Now, we do this and beam all the time. This is called an arabesque, okay? That we also move into a skip. And what we're just gonna do is lift that back leg, make sure it stays straight, we'll bend in the leg, okay? Toe pointed, can you see it? Just like this, I'm just gonna lift one, two, three, four, five, and back in, other side, and one, two, three, four, five, and in, and relax. All right. One more thing with the leg lift. This is called a rond de jambe, and it's very hard to do. Okay, so what you're gonna do, arms out, you're gonna start in the front. Hold that leg up, woo! You see how we're working on the balance? It takes good core muscles to keep yourself steady, okay? And we're gonna move to the side, and we're gonna move back, and then together. And then the other side, up, out, around, and in, and up, out, around, and in, and up, out, around, and in. Very good, and relax. That's it, okay? Last thing we're gonna do on T-square, T or on beam, is our T-stand, okay? You guys all remember this. When we practice it in the gym, we have a block here and a block behind you, and your hands go to the block, and you make a T, and you stand up. So you ready? We're gonna do this five times on one leg, five times on the other. And then we're gonna move on to our last thing of the day, okay? So arms up, nice and tall, toe pointed back, and T, and one, two, I'm a little teapot, short and stout, tip me over and pour me out. Whew, if that was little, my little teapot to uh, the Jeopardy theme song. All right, so we're gonna switch sides, the other leg, am I actually switching legs? <laughs> All right, ready? Arms up tall, and in. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Woo! All right, hope you guys are getting just as good a workout as I am. The last thing we're gonna do, all right, is candlestick pulls, all right? Now, for this one, you're gonna need to find a door frame, because you're gonna have to put your hands underneath the door frame, all right? I uh, don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Coach Jenny's feet. Nope, I'm not going to use Coach Jenny's feet. I am going to use this mat right here. All right? All right, so here's what we got to do. We're going to lay on our backs, okay? Oh, now, if you guys can't do some of these exercises because you didn't know it was coming, this will be on YouTube. You can watch this video on YouTube and you can go back through it at your own pace, okay? And you can do it a couple times a week, all right? To help keep yourself in shape. Our next segment, we'll do uh, probably some vaulting drills, all right? And some other things that uh, you guys can do at home, all right? So you're gonna put your hands underneath the door, keep your arms straight, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull yourself up, you're gonna roll up to a candlestick and then just come back down. You're gonna do it 10 times. This is our last exercise today, guys, so work hard, okay? Pull up, candlestick, just like this, and come back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, oh, ten. Whew, I did it. 
All right. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining us during our workout today. Again, these post these videos are posted on YouTube. You guys can practice them there, go through some stuff over and over and over again. Keep yourselves in shape, okay? And thank you for joining us today. We will see you. The shout outs that you have to respond to. We have shout outs? Mm -hmm. What do we got? Who do we got here? All right, let me see. Hi, Coach Kyle, good push-ups. Woo! Uh, Kaylin. Pays Lynn says hello, and she wishes she could be there too. All right, Allison Lynn. Hi, Coach Kyle from Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Uh, Jordan Smith. Sidalicious says hi. All right. Way to go, Sidalicious. Hey, thank you, Amy Grove Hoffman. Groves Hoffman, thank you for joining in. We are so happy that we can do this with you. We hope you're doing it at home. All right, and we will see you next time. Can I get a woo? What? I can't hear you. No, come on. Yep, 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 one more time. One, two, three. Woo! All right, we'll see you guys next time.